First of all, we need to learn how to move around the canvas properly. To do that, we can press the spacebar on the keyboard, and as you can see, the mouse cursor turns into a little hand, and by clicking and dragging while still holding the spacebar, you're going to be able to move around the canvas and move to other parts of the screen. Then we need to learn how to zoom in and out. To do that, you need to select the zoom tool which you can do from here, or you can use the shortcut, which is the letter Z. And it gets selected automatically. Once you have the tool selected, you can zoom in by clicking simply, or holding the Alt key, you can zoom out. You can also zoom in and out using the mouse wheel, if you have it, of course, uh, by using the mouse wheel up, it's gonna zoom in, and down, it's gonna zoom out. You still need to hold the Alt key. There are also a couple of other shortcuts which we should look into. Uh, so for example, right now you see from here that our zoom level is 64.2. If we want to go to 100% in one shot, we just need to use the command one shortcut. And there we go, this is 100%. If you want to go 200%, we're going to use command two. And if you want to see all the artboards included in our canvas, we click we use command zero. At the moment we only have one, but let me show you what we can do if we have another one up here and we can move it just a little here and we set the focus of the screen here. If we hit command zero, we're gonna see all of them. To select and move elements on your design, you're gonna use the select tool, which you can activate over here or with using the letter V. This is very important, you're gonna use it all the time and you really need to learn how to use the letter B constantly. So once this is selected, you can basically click on any element of the screen, an artboard or any element like a shape or a piece of text. And once it's selected, you can drag it and move it around the screen. You can also select two elements at the same time by clicking and dragging. And then you can move both of them at the same time. Or as another example, you can create three rectangles like this. And let's say I want to select the one at the top and the one at the bottom. You can just do that by holding the shift key on the keyboard and clicking on them. And this way only two of them are gonna be selected. When moving elements around, there's another couple of situation where it's pretty handy to use the shift key. For example, in this case, let's say we have this rectangle at the top and I want to move it at the bottom of the screen. If I hold the shift key on the keyboard, I just make sure that the horizontal position doesn't change. It just gets dragged down perfectly, maintaining the same orientation. Same thing happens if I want to drag it horizontally. If I hold the shift key, it doesn't change its vertical position. While, as you can see, if I just try to drag it back up without holding shift, I'm a bit shaky, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna position it in the right position. One more thing I can do is hold the shift key when I'm using the arrow keys to move things around. When this happens, you're moving things around by 10 pixel increments. So in this case, if I move down, hitting the down key three times, I know that I moved the rectangle down by 30 pixels. Going back to our toolbar on the left, a few remaining things that you really need to learn how to use as a shortcut for are the rectangle tool, letter R, the ellipse tool, letter E, and the text tool, letter T. You're gonna use this literally all the time, so it's better if you just learn them. Another operation we're gonna do all the time is duplicating elements. We can do this in three ways. First one is select the element you want to duplicate and hit Command D. Second way is the simple copy and paste by using Command C and then Command V, pasting it. And the third one is holding the Alt key and click and drag. I think this is my favorite one as I find it the most convenient to do, but you feel free to use whatever you want.
Another operation we're gonna do very often is creating groups of layers. So for example, if I'm gonna create a text here, and I want to move it on top, and I want to create a group for this button, I'm just gonna select both the layers and use the command G key shortcut. And as you can see, there's a new group created here containing those two layer layers. Another operation you're gonna see me doing very often is locking layers. So for example, if we have a rectangle here at the bottom, which is gonna be a background of some sort, and we don't want this layer to be selected or moved around, we can just hit command L and this layer would be locked. As you can see, there's a little icon, lock icon here. And with, with the select tool, if you try to select it or move it around, you just cannot do that. And one final shortcut for a very common operation that you've seen me doing so far is the undo or redo function. So for example, if I want to change the color of this button to pink, and I don't like that, and I want to cancel the last action, you just hit Command Z, and it goes back to blue. If I want to go back to pink again, I want to redo that action, so I'm going to hit Command Shift Z. We will probably see more shortcuts later on during the course, but for now these are the ones that by far are the most used.